Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be testing a few new makeup products which I'm super excited about. I have a couple up and coming Sydney Grace launches. We have their new eyeshadow palette and they also have a cheek palette coming out on Monday. I have them a little bit early to test for you guys and I also have some new Too Faced stuff including their new foundation. So I thought I would just throw this all in together since I am getting ready to leave for a trip soon. I wanted to make sure I got these reviews up, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna do eyeshadow first, and let me share with you the new Sydney Grace palette, the Unbreakable Bond. This is a really fun kind of sister collab with the brand. This is a small indie brand, and they actually have one of my all-time favorite eyeshadow formulas. Some of you guys might be new to the brand, and some of you guys may remember them from the Mel Thompson palette that she did with Sydney Grace. She always shared a ton of their shadows on her channel and also I'm obsessed with their Enduring Love palette. They also have a new little cheek palette coming out too called Luminous Light, which we also will be testing out today. So again, these are launching on Monday the 27th, so I have them a little bit early for you, but you can kind of get a feel for what everything looks like in the palette. We'll do some up close and personal swatches and everything as well. So here is the Unbreakable Bond eyeshadow palette. And then opening it up, this is actually such a stunning neutral palette, and you guys know me and my neutrals. That is what I love to wear. I can never have enough neutrals. So when they were posting all the sneak peeks, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. I need to try this. And I believe some of these are new shades, and then some are singles that they've had in the past with some different bundles. I know Tiara, I'm familiar with that shade for sure, but they also have had some repeat shades. So if you guys are a Sydney Grace collector, you have a lot from them. Definitely double check your collection to see if there is any repeats going on. Let's start with some swatches here. I forgot to mention that I believe I have the deep palette. She makes usually a light and a deep. There is just a couple differences in between the two. I think only a few shades are really different, but they always like to do a deeper version as well with some of like your transition shades and stuff, so they fit every single skin tone. First shade in the palette is called Spring Fling. This is a super pretty, almost rosy purple. Next, we have this matte mauve tone called Adore Me. Next is this kind of burnt rose. This is Sun Poisoning. And then this last shimmer, this one is called Sweater Weather. So that is the first row. Next row, we have a pale yellow called Mama. This stunning shimmer, it's almost chrome-like. This has like a peachy gold kind of shift. This one's called Aunties. Next, we have Taylor Girls, which is all the sisters. And another stunning shimmer called Just Peachy. So that's the second row. Third row is a little more cooler. This is Dusty Trails, another matte. A darker matte brown, this is Back Roads. Then this is gonna be a perfect outer corner shade. It's super deep. This one is Porch Swing. And to complete that row, one of my favorite shimmers they have, Tiara. It's absolutely stunning. Last row here, this is Cleveland. Next is Haley's Haze. Next is Shaylee's Shimmer. And last color is Indiana Love. And then here is everything swatched so you can see the full color story together. That is the swatches. This palette is going to retail for $60. Let's get this on the eyes. Okay, guys, to start the look, I'm going to go ahead and do Indiana Love in the crease, just using a really small tapered brush. And I just tapped all the excess off, and we're just going to kind of blend this in. Since this is a darker shade, I'm kind of patting this on to get the color laid down that I want, and then I'm going to lightly blend it. I am going to go in with a little bit of this Spring Fling Yellow as well to kind of blend with it, right where it meets my skin, just to kind of help that shade blend a little bit better. Next, I'm going to go ahead and use Porch Swing, just using a very little bit, and I'm going to pack this in the outer corner. Again, packing and then lightly blending in just so we don't mix everything too much. On my lower lash line, I'm actually going to use Back Roads and just kind of sweeping that across. Using my finger, I'm going to take Tiara. I just love this silver color. It is just stunning. And then I just want to add a touch more of that blue back in, so I'm just using a fine pencil brush 
and going back over that because my silver went up a little bit high. So I still want that blue to pop. I am gonna add some brown liner here on the waterline. This one's just from House Labs. It stays on pretty much all day, which is nice. And I'm also gonna pop on just my go-to half lashes just to enhance the outer corner of my eye. If you guys struggle with lashes or you just feel like they constantly are popping off in the corners, half lashes are definitely something to try. Like I've tried them once and like I will not look back. I really love them. I do like to though, when I am wearing them, add a little liquid liner in the inner portion just so that everything blends together and you're not just seeing like a lash band in the middle. All right, now that the eyes are pretty much done, let's go on to the face. And I am gonna be using this new Too Faced Born This Way Healthy Glow Foundation. I do have oily skin, but I did wanna go ahead and try this. I usually have good luck with Too Faced foundations, but we'll see, because this does seem like it's gonna be more of a moisturizing formula. It has SPF 30 in it, which is awesome, and it says it's a moisturizing skin tint, and it has watermelon and apple, <laughs> plus hyaluronic acid in the formula, which is kind of interesting. It's 24-hour wear, vegan, all-day hydration. It says it's non-acnogenic as well, so it's not supposed to break out the skin, not clog pores, so it seems like it has a lot going for it. It's supposed to be a sheer buildable coverage that feels weightless on the skin. All right, that was a mouthful. Let's try this out. I have the shade Porcelain. I ordered this on Sephora. It randomly came available the other day. It does look different than the other Born This Way products, so this seems kind of like their version of a skin tint. So I did prime already with my Hourglass, which is my go-to primer, and let's apply this on the skin. So porcelain, it seems darker than I thought it would be because I think it was described as like light with neutral undertones. I know Too Faced, sometimes their shade range can be hard, but if you do find one shade that you like in their range, then most of the shades match up pretty well with it. Um, but usually I just use my self-tan shades, so that's why I had to try a new one. I used to use Snow, but I just feel like that made me really, really pale looking. And sometimes I do like to go just a hint darker because I feel like once you add all your other products, it just kind of blends. So I feel like this is a decent color. It's just maybe a hint dark on me, but blending down on the neck, I think it'll actually match pretty good for now. But overall, this actually has a lot more coverage than I thought it was going to have. It, it said it was sheer, but I feel like it's actually medium and very buildable. Like you could almost build this to what I think would be a full coverage personally. Definitely noticing a radiance to the skin. So as you can see, it covered really, really well. It looks good on the skin, I will say, but it's definitely leaning almost to full coverage. So if you're one that only really wants minimal coverage, I don't think you're gonna like this personally. I don't think Too Faced really has like a skin tint or anything like that on the market. Anyways, let me also try this with their Ethereal Light Concealer from the Born This Way line. This is one of their newer ones. I'm still kind of trying to get a feel for this. I always get asked like what my go-to foundation is and it actually is a Too Faced foundation. It is their Born This Way matte. That one seems to work really well for me, but I know it can be hit or miss. Um, the original Born This Way is a little too greasy for me, so that's why I'm kind of like if this is even maybe more hydrating than that, then I just don't know how well this is gonna work, but. Thought we would go ahead and try it. I really like to build my concealer also into the inner corners of the eye just to kind of clean up that shadow. Since we have a very smoky look, I still want it to be really polished though. Otherwise, I kind of, I don't like to have too much depth in the inner corner of the eye just because it kind of makes the eyes look a little bit smaller and having more brightness there will make them look more awake. I am setting all over with Huda Beauty Powder starting with the under eyes and then we'll just put it all over the face 
So with powder, I would say everything looks really good. I'm gonna do my brows off camera just to save time. Then we can move on to the new Sydney Grace cheek palette. So Sydney Grace also has a new face palette coming out, which is really exciting. This is the Luminous Light Palette, again, with different shades for different skin tones. I have the light version. And in here, there is a gorgeous highlight two blushes, one shimmer, and one matte, and it looks like a bronzer as well. So we will definitely be trying this out today too. Let me go ahead and swatch everything in the light palette. This first shade for the highlighter is Day Glow. It's like a really pretty pearly highlight with almost a pink shift. We have the shimmery blush in Love Struck. And then the matte pink blush in Sweet Pea. And then we have a kind of a neutral bronzer in Starlight. This is also launching the same day and it'll be $28. So let's go in with the bronzer. And we'll just spread this all along the cheeks here. Really beautiful, blendable color. It just melts right into the skin. Again, this is from the Light Palette. There is also a medium and a deeper palette that will have some different tones, but I think this is a perfect bronzer for a lighter skin tone if you are more fair. Okay, let's try out the blushes. I kind of want to use both. Let me first try Sweet Pea because this one's a lighter tone, and then we'll go over top of it with Love Struck, but let's go ahead and apply this to the cheeks. Okay, that's actually quite pigmented. I really thought since it swatched lighter, that it wouldn't be as bright, but holy crap, that's bright. So definitely use a light hand with that. I'm just going to go over that with my foundation brush a bit to blend that out. Now I'm gonna take a different brush and I'm gonna do just a little bit of Love Struck right on top. And that just gives a stunning glow. And then we'll finish off with the highlight shade Day Glow. You guys know I love a good icy highlighter. I'm just kind of highlighting under my brow bone as well, the tip of my nose, and Cupid's bow, but how beautiful. So last but not least, let's finish up with lips. I did get the new Too Faced Lip Injection Lip Liner. I know you guys were asking me about this one, so let's try it out. I'm unsure how this is gonna go. It's supposed to give eight hours of plumping, which I haven't really seen from a lip liner, but you guys know their lip injection, the gloss always works really well. So this is in the shade Puffy Nude. This one's nice because you click it to push the product up so you don't have to use any sharpener. And it comes out like a circle, so it's not really the best shape I would say, but let's try this on the lips. It's actually really creamy. I don't really feel any plumping sensation. The shape was actually not as hard as I thought it would be to use, and I really love this color. Okay, as this product sits on, I'm definitely feeling the tingles going. It's not bad yet, it's bearable, but it takes a minute for it to get going. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little lip balm in the middle. This one's from Summer Fridays. Yeah, it's definitely burning now. I do think they look plump though, I will say. I feel like it is giving some extra volume. I don't know if I'm crazy, but I feel like they do look a little bit bigger than normal. Just wanted to show you guys, it's probably been about five more minutes and it really is burning. And definitely, I feel like it is plumping. So if you guys don't like the lip injection glosses, you're probably not gonna like these because these are pretty painful as well. <laughs> the burn is definitely there. So here is the finished look. Like usual, I like to wear this for at least a few hours and then I'm gonna come back and let you guys know my thoughts. I'm especially curious about mostly the foundation because that one I feel like you need to get a little bit of wear time in. Overall, we created such a gorgeous kind of smoky eye look today, but I will be back in a few hours with some of my thoughts on these products. Okay guys, it has been about six hours and I just wanted to share kind of my thoughts on the products after wearing everything. First up, eyeshadow looks amazing. I always love Sydney Grace's formula. This holds up really well on the eyes throughout the day, doesn't smear. 
Uh, I will say these shades are pretty pigmented and pretty dark though, so just go in with a light hand and lightly build up or else it might get a little crazy, but just take your time with these. They have great pigmentation though and their shimmers are so beautiful. I feel like they're very flattering on the eyes too. You know how some shimmers will enhance every wrinkle? I feel like these kind of just blend in with the skin and they just look so good so love this i can't wait to play with this more i know i'm gonna do like so many good neutral looks with this one probably a staple in like my photo shoot makeup bag as well i'm curious to see the lighter one if it does have a little bit of a lighter transition shades because these can be a little bit dark on me but overall really love this palette let's talk the new Too faced foundation is this oily skin friendly I have to say no. I know it doesn't look too bad right now, but I did have to powder after even one hour. There's definitely a glow going on, but I will say I do think this looks better on me than the Makeup by Mario foundation did. That one's really glowy too, but my oily skin just can't handle these glowy products so much because I feel like since it has that glow to the skin, it kind of enhances the pores that I have in my t-zone it hasn't broken up though I will say it is very long wearing so I feel like the 24 hour claims not that I'm testing my makeup for 24 hours but I feel like they would be pretty good but I would say if you have oily skin like me you're probably going to want to go for the Too Faced Born This Way matte but I still love to try glowy foundations here and there just to see what it is like I was surprised though this does not seem like a skin tint and I think I would have liked it better if it was less coverage, which is crazy because I'm usually a full coverage girl, but for this type of product, I think I would prefer something even more sheer because this seemed like it was medium to almost full coverage. So not really sure what's happening with this one, but maybe if you have dry skin, check this out. If you like glowy makeup, I'm just not a glowy girl. And then I was really impressed with the Sydney Grace Little Face Palettes. This just has kind of everything I need in one. Might bring this one on my little trip because I think it'll be the perfect travel palette. I love that you get a little bit of everything with the bronzer and the blushes and the highlight. I'm usually not a big fan of face palettes when it's like all bronzers, all blushes. This you have everything in one and I like that it also has a nice mirror in there. These all are really smooth, really easy to blend on the skin and very beautiful pigmented shades again. Oh my gosh, you guys, this lip liner. <laughs> I swear this was burning for probably a good 20 minutes. It took a little bit to get going but the burn was there and I feel like it just wouldn't go away especially because I mixed it with the gloss I think that kind of enhanced everything but I mean you have to mix it with something since it's a lip liner I guess you could wear it on its own I was impressed because I didn't really think the lip liner would plump but it definitely plumps just like the lip gloss does so I can't even imagine if you paired these together like how on fire your lips would be it's a little bit uncomfortable to sit through it's not, I don't think it's painful personally, but if you do not like the lip injection glosses, you're definitely not going to like these either, but these actually kind of do the same thing. I kind of like it, but I also kind of don't at the same time, but I really like this color. I could definitely see myself using this more. Like, it'd be fun, again, like, I do a lot of photo shoots for work. I work at a boutique. I model their clothes. I mean, this would be nice to just get some extra plump going on. I feel like it's definitely very burning, even more longer burning than the lip gloss was. So that's kind of my thoughts on just a few new products here. I thought I would just test a few things at once instead of just doing one thing. I do have a fun eyeshadow palette review as well tomorrow. Lots going on. I'm gonna try to have a reminder of when the Sydney Grace stuff is available again Monday the 27th if you guys are wanting anything from this launch. But yeah, it was so fun to try everything out. So I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. I hope this was helpful if these were some products that you were kind of wondering about and looking at. I'll definitely do some updates as I use them a bit more. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.